let's talk about separation and divorce using this trending issue about Kubana chief priest accusing Maria, the ex Vivian housemate, of sleeping with his sister's husband. My name is Okoro Blessing in Kiroka, and I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO, your number one relationship therapist in Africa. It's trending. Kubana chief priest, the celebrity barman, has accused the ex Vivian housemate of sleeping with his sister's husband. In his quotes, stealing his sister's husband. Let's talk about it. We've been going through the matter and I patiently waited to see more evidence. Kubana Chipis has posted that his um, brother-in-law just got divorced recently, which simply means that his wife just served him divorce a month ago. That means they have been married, right? And he's cheating. Now, I quickly want to explain the difference between separation and divorce. Before you get divorce, you must be separated for at least two years before you are divorced officially. Within that two years, the court is giving you time to see if you can reconcile with your spouses and know if the marriage is going to work. And the court is meant to believe that if these two parties can stay without each other for two years, it simply means that they have moved on. Exactly. So you can actually be separated and still date other people, waiting for the divorce to be legalized. Dating other people simply means I don't want to mend the marriage anymore. It simply means I have moved on. I have found somebody else. I have replaced the person. So we need to understand this fact. When you're having a misunderstanding with your husband and he separates with you, you are actually supposed to be separated for two years. Yes, so you don't get divorced immediately. The only thing you do is that you don't get married within this period until you have your official divorce paper. That's where one can sue you for bigamy. Bigamy simply means we are still legally married, we've not gotten an official paper, and you married somebody else. But while we are going through that separation process, you can date. You can, be, you can even marry somebody traditionally, but not court-wise. Exactly. So we need to understand that fact for those of you who are dragging and dragging and dragging and dragging. So that's that for the separation and the divorce. In this part of the world, it, it, a lot of people are so scared of divorce. And it's so funny because of our culture, morals and religion. When you hear divorce, people think that for you to get divorced, you're a failure. You're not good enough. You did not try your best. Why will you leave the man? You know, there's a lot of stigma when it comes to divorce in this part of the world. That's why many women especially are suffering. And many men too are suffering. Nobody wants to let go. But the truth is, divorce is like cancer. When you're going through cancer, they amputate your hand, your boobs, your leg, or any part of your body. It simply means you want to survive. Cancer is something that eats you up gradually till you finally die. When you find out that thing that is eating you up because you don't want to die, you tell the doctor, no problem, take off my hand, take off my boobs, take off my leg, take off anything that can stop this cancer from spreading. That is what divorce is during marriage. It's the last option. Instead of dying, after trying, you leave and you let go. I've said the times without number. So many times, letting go is true love. Sometimes we can love something so much and when we hold it too tight, we might hurt it, kill it, break it or destroy it. So sometimes we can love people but we are no longer compatible. We are no longer in agreement. We share children, yes. We love our children, yes. But instead of us to kill our children and make them orphans, we can actually separate be on our own and still show these children love. That is where divorce comes in. Divorce does not mean you're a failure. Divorce is like a last option when you are tired of trying. Unfortunately, like I said, in this part of the world, a lot of people are so naive about divorce. When they hear divorce, they think you're a failure. They think you've done bad. They think you're not good enough. Mm -mm. A lot of men and women who divorce are people who have tried to help or salvage the marriage and it's not working. Now, the truth about it is whatever comes out on social media is what broke the camel's back. Before people come out on social media to rant, they've been patching, they've been hiding, they've been mending. When they come out on the social media, it simply means we have talked silently and nobody's hearing. We have tried to agree silently and nobody's listening to us. Ungwa, let's watch our daily lane outside. And there are some people that actually only pay attention when things are public. Yes, 
I know of lots of men who can only listen when you scream in public. Exactly. So when you see people bring their matter on social media, don't blame them. Sometimes they've tried so hard. Inwardly, they've called family, they've called friends, and nobody's listening to them. They decided to shout in the public. So divorce is not bad. If you've tried and tried and tried and it's not working, it's okay to survive. It's okay to be alive. It's okay to stay alive for your children. Good things don't finish. You can find another man who is going to appreciate you. You can find another woman who is going to appreciate you. Remember, I have told you a couple of times in my videos that sometimes when you begin to grow, your spouses can, might not be able to cohabit with you anymore. Exactly. There are some spouses that are used to you being a small girl. The moment you begin to grow into a woman, it will become a problem. There are some spouses that are used to you, seeing you as a small boy, seeing you as a poor man, seeing you as, you know, a limited man. The moment you begin to grow, it becomes a problem for them. A lot of people are not used to growth. Many people are not used to growth. The moment you begin to grow sometimes, marriage might damage. That is the honest fact. Some people are not used to change. Some people married you because you were a certain way. And when you decide to grow and become a different way, it might be a problem for them to adjust. Some men married you because you were jobless and because they could feed you and give you money. But the moment you begin to make money for yourself, it might be a problem to them. Because a lot of men are actually insecure that when a woman starts to make money, she begins to rub shoulder. It's a mindset. So when you start making money, they start to feel insecure. It becomes a problem in the home. The same thing as the men. Some of your wives are used to seeing you at a particular level. The moment you start to grow, they believe you started cheating. They are used to seeing you at home. They are used to seeing you not doing so much. You're always at home running around and being with them. The moment you start to get business contracts and start to keep late nights and start to travel, it becomes a problem. My husband is automatically cheating. The problem is some people are not used to change. So many times, it is not cheating that breaks a marriage. I've told you guys these things before. Cheating is just what a lot of people use as a forefront to dissolve the marriage because that's one thing the Bible said and that's one thing the courts is going to accept. So everybody clings on to cheating. Mm -mm. Before cheating comes into the picture, a lot of things have lingered. There have been lack of communication, lack of sex, abuse, violence, narcissism. So many water has gone under the bridge. A lot of people just use cheating to cover, to pain, just like a cliche. The men use cheating, the women use domestic violence. And sometimes the women use cheating too. Because that is the narrative that the society accepts. Biblically, spiritually, even lolically. That's if we have that kind of language. The law says if he cheats, you can go. The Bible says if he cheats, you can go. So everybody's just clinging on to cheating, cheating, cheating. But most times, as a relationship therapist, I'm telling you what happens behind closed doors. It has nothing to do with cheating. There has been problem before the cheating started. Cheating is just what people use to cover up, to make it easy or acceptable to the public. But most times, it is the smallest and the tiniest things that break relationship and marriage. Not the cheating, not the noise. Not the cliches, is the things they are not even talking about. What actually breaks relationship and marriage are things people hardly talk about. Because they know that when we come and talk about it, society will say, oh, is it because people did not talk? Oh, is it because he did not satisfy you in bed? The real issues don't even come out on social media. The real issues don't come out. Because the real issues are very, very tiny and small. So a lot of people just make big issues out of it. Exactly. So we need to pay attention to the little, little things that cause this misunderstanding, lack of communication, lack of sexual intercourse, finance, and a whole lot that brings up this whole social media drama. So I thought I should throw in more light into this marital divorce bohaha that is flying all over social media. So many of you are so naive about divorce and separation, and that's the honest truth. That's the honest truth. Some of you don't know Jack about divorce and separation. Yes, you don't know Jack. And to quickly add, so many times, a lot of men are suffering in their marriage. Before you see a man come out sometimes and cheat or say, I want to divorce my wife, he's also going through something. But the difference is, in this society where we found ourselves, a lot of men are voiceless because they want to be a man. The moment you talk, the moment you want to come and explain what you're going through in your marriage, the moment you want to come and tell the world how the, your wife is treating you or how she's not being a good wife, he talks too much. Woman, rapper, why can't you deal with your issue? Be a man. So you see a lot of men bottle up a lot of stuff. 
The difference is that women are louder because society have allowed women to talk and men not to talk for men to be men. But I'm going to tell you one bitter truth. In marriages of today, a lot of men are suffering in silence. That's the honest truth. Forget the noise. So many women are not doing it right in their marriages. They are just making noise on the social media. And a lot of women become noisy when they see the man moving on. Once they see that the man has moved on to a more beautiful woman, a more independent woman, they start to make noise. But a lot of women do not actually put in effort in their marriage. That is the honest truth. Take, I'm telling you this off record, right? They don't put in any effort. You just see them ranting and screaming and shouting. Once they have seen that the man has moved on, that's when you see most of them screaming and shouting. Women, you know what I'm talking about. So why don't we go to our drawing board and stop all this noise? You, most of you women know that you're making noise. You know that. You know you're just dragging this man unnecessarily. The only thing the social media is going to give you is opinion. But it is what it is. Behind your closed doors, you know the truth. You know within yourself what you're doing. So when you come on the social media and drag your husband, drag whoever you want to drag, the social media people will only talk for two, three days and you go back to your reality. I feel let's make it right. Let's stop the noise. I know the social media is very interesting for us to come and talk and people insult your husband, drag your husband. These same people who are dragging your husband will date your husband, will have sex with your husband, and will marry your husband. These same people who are dragging your wives, will date your wife, will have sex with your wife, and will marry your wife. Let's stop fooling ourselves with people's comments and hypocrisy that they, that they talk about publicly. The public is a different world from the private, right? So when people finish talking publicly, what happens to you privately? Your, privately, your privacy is your real life. So while you're doing your drama, making your noise, make sure that your privacy, there's reality in it. So it's just me telling every one of us, can we put ourselves together? If you need somebody to talk to, can you at least talk to a professional relationship therapist or talk to a lawyer instead of all this noise you guys are making on the social media? I love you guys.